Okay, today we're going to start working on the Evinrude four and a half horse, and we're going to take the carburetor off. Got my dad here working with me today. We're going to take the carb off, take it apart, clean it, and uh, that's probably all it needs is a good cleaning, and we'll change the gas and the gas can and the fuel line, and we should be good. Okay, so what Dad is doing here is loosening the nuts for the carburetor. And I think I'm loosening off, there's a bracket that holds the ch something to do with the choke. I don't know what it's called, but that's what I'm undoing. And uh, so now here we're pulling the carb off, got the fuel line off. And... Dad's starting to tear apart the carburetor here because we tore it all apart, sprayed some carb cleaner, and uh, cleaned that carb up really good. If you look inside that dish there where the float is, the bowl, I guess you'd call it, um, you see the dried up fuel that dried right up in there. Just turned into like a powder. It's disgusting. That definitely had to come out of there. So I cleaned that up. Spraying the carb cleaner in there into the jet. Cleaning everything up really good. Okay, what we had to do is remove the fuel line. It goes from the fuel pump to the carb. That thing was rotted right out. Piece of junk. So we got... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. So we got it, some new stuff. Can't even bend it. No, harden right up. Where's this hose? So we got ourselves a new hose we'll put on there. That'll eliminate that issue. Okay, we put a new fuel line on from the fuel pump to the carp. New clamps. That old fuel line was gone really brittle and hard. So we have that on now. We just put the carb back on and hook up the choke again. And then we'll give it a try. What I didn't first show you was when we first started the motor, tried to start the motor, the check valve inside the pump ball, the primer ball, it was even rusted up and, and stuck in there. So we couldn't get any fuel up to the engine. I ran out to a couple places to get a ball. All the stores were closing or closed. Uh, There's only one place open. It was the wrong size bulb, so I didn't get it. By the time I got home, Dad had that ball, the check valve, freed up and the primer bulb worked. So here I'm just putting the engine on and throwing the... Now I'm going to go get the gas tank, throw it in. This is that night. This is like quarter to nine at night. Still daylight out. Getting the boat ready to take out on uh, Saturday morning. And this is Saturday morning now. So just loading up the boat, getting everything ready, waiting for Beth. She's my camera lady. And we're heading out to the lake. The old boat is looking good, I guess. <laughs> So here we are at the boat launch. Uh, this boat launch is only about six minutes from our house. We have one closer, but we, we went here. It's more quieter and private. Um, just got the boat in and uh, pulled the choke on. And we know it runs because it ran the night before. One pull. First pull fires up the way it goes. So that's a good feeling. A little bit of puff of smoke going on there. Maybe running, maybe just a bit rich. Now we're just going to back up, turn it around and head out onto the lake. I like jacket on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, our mission was accomplished. We got our boat running. The motor's running good. The trailer's working. Got the tires fixed. Uh, the lights aren't working, but that's all right. No leaks in the boat, but we didn't catch a fish because I forgot worms and I didn't want to spend a lot of time trolling with a minnow bait. But it was fun getting the motor going, get everything going, and it's been sitting for four years and you never know, right? It may not run, but it did. So if you like this sort of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, the thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.